What's going on all you maniacs out there? Welcome to the very last Wicked Wednesday of the year. Tomorrow's Halloween, so happy Halloween to all of you ghouls and goblins out there. I hope you get so much candy that it makes you sick. Today on our final Wicked Wednesday here on the Black and Red channel, we're going to be building a haunted house. This haunted house here is a brick build. This is... 1,196 pieces, and it's very, very cool looking. Also guys, don't forget, because we hit 1,000 subscribers here on the Black and Red Builds channel, I'm giving away that Jim Darren helmet, the Lego Mandalorian helmet, for free to one of you. So there's a link down below, and there's a QR code right here. You can scan that QR code, or go down there and click that link and win yourself, if you're lucky, a free Lego Mandalorian helmet kit. It'll make a great Christmas present. So let's quit wasting any more time and let's get up top and let's get this thing open. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. This is the haunted house brick build. Uh, very cool looking. Look at all the uh, cool jack-o'-lanterns and the dead trees and everything. The blood on the windows. You know, that's that's how haunted houses are. This says it's for ages six and up. This is from a, uh, and it also has lighting. This has got light bricks in it, which is pretty cool. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna have the batteries for it or not, but we'll find out. This is from a company called Yoi Bloxy. You know, this has been around for a little bit. And get this off of Amazon. I will leave a link in the description down below. Let's take a look at the back here. All right, again, there's literally cool details here, like the little faces and the windows. There's a bat up here. We got the wood pieces, planks and things on it. The old gnarled dead tree. Very neat looking, man. And the whole thing is done out on the inside as well. We got ghosts and jack-o'-lanterns in there. Really, really cool. All right, and I think that's pretty much all there is to see on here. And of course, as uh, any of these things with small parts, there's a choking warning, uh, not for children under three years of age. All right, guys, let's go ahead and crack this thing open. Cut the tape here on the bottom. Get a look inside. All right, well, let's... I'm always curious on how nice these are going to be compared to Lego, of course. Uh, Lego is the standard. It looks like we get the same type of uh, brick separators here. There's one of our jack-o'-lanterns right there. Very cool looking. They come in very similar bags as Lego, marked and numbered just like it. This is going to be our electrical lighting pieces here. Okay, we don't need batteries, guys. This is pretty cool. I uh, can't hardly see in there, I'm sure, but right there it's a USB Type A plug on it. So this plugs up USB. Wow. That's pretty cool. I didn't know they did that. All right, let's get the rest of these out of here. And let's get our manual out. Now let's get rid of this box. Let's say we push it through the table again. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> nice. That always works, guys. I'm trying to tell you. That's the best way to get rid of it. All right, let me move all these parts out of the way and let's get a quick look at the manual and see how nice it looks. All right, guys, here's the manual. Another good look at the haunted house there. I would call it a haunted mansion, really. Let's see how it looks on the inside here. Let's see how well this is going to play out. We do have a few stickers that they just stick in here. Eh, that's kind of neat that they stick them in like that. I'm not a big fan of stickers on Lego pieces. I'm curious if the like bloody handprints and things are printed on the pieces or if those are stickers. We'll find out. If those are, if those are printed on, I'm going to be extremely impressed. Got our parts list here. And bats and snakes and stuff too, spiders. There's our electrical pieces, that's kind of cool. Our light up pieces. 
All right, and just like uh, a lot of the Lego kits here, we got uh, bag one will get us to here, two, three, four, and uh, we'll start right here on bag one. So far, this looks pretty good. Let's see how the coloration is looking here on the pieces. There's probably not a whole lot of different colors on this one, mostly probably blacks and greens and browns, but it looks pretty nice. Yeah. I'm I'm really impressed with some of these off-brand uh, brick brick models. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's get to building.
guys we are all done with the brick build haunted house and uh you know i say it a lot this thing's so cool i don't normally build like structures houses and things like that when it comes to lego most of the lego or brick build kind of stuff i generally do are characters or uh, ships vehicles stuff like that I, I don't like i said generally build the houses but man if you're into building the houses this thing's super cool. I mean, it just really is. I'm gonna lift it up here for you. Now, I don't have it lit up right now, but you can get a look in there and see all the cool stuff there. It's it's a big, big build. Uh, this is something though that's, you know, I'll probably sit it on the TV stand during Halloween because uh, it's really cool, man. And not, look, the only stickers that were in this were the ones I showed at the beginning, and they are for pictures that hang on the wall. Everything else, the bloody handprints, the uh, boards on the top that look, that are all textured and look like with the wood grain. You can see it. There you go, some of those. Uh, those are all printed, if you can believe that. They're all printed. You can look inside there. We have like a piano room there. Bedroom. That's like a uh, bathroom there. And then the uh, dining area. There's a like a fireplace kind of looking area there with the jack-o'-lanterns. Let me see if I can put a little light on it. There we go. Now you can see 
Some jack-o'-lanterns lit up in there. Sorry, the wire is all in the way here. Got the lights on up in the top. You can see up in the attic. Just, there's so much to look at on this. It's just so cool. Try not to drop it. That would suck. <laughs> there we got our lights on the front that light up. The lights inside. You can see the ghosts and stuff. Every room is lit, has some kind of lights in it. So cool, guys. Really, really cool. I definitely highly recommend this one. Of, uh, of most of the builds that I've done for Wicked Wednesday, this is uh, definitely one of the coolest. Uh, definitely highly recommend this one. And again, guys, I'll leave a link to this in the description down below. Don't forget also... Uh, I recently went over 1,000 subscribers, so I'm giving the I'm doing the giveaway for the uh, Mandalorian I mentioned at the beginning. I'll leave the QR code right here for you can you can scan to go and enter, or click the link in the description down below. This giveaway is in no way affiliated with Lego or YouTube. I purchased that model with my own money to give away to one of my subscribers. So anyways, guys, tomorrow's Halloween. So happy Halloween to everybody once again. And I hope you guys enjoyed this series, Wicked Wednesday. I got some really cool models on their way coming up. I'll also be doing a Christmas-themed building session, just like I did for Halloween uh, during the uh, month of December, uh, probably starting right after Thanksgiving. So... Be on the lookout for that. I got some pretty cool models for that. Anyways, guys, I hope you really enjoyed these videos. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment, stroll right over there, and kick that subscribe button. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see y'all next time on Tree Solo. And this is Black and Red Builds. See? Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.